Hello, beautiful Scorpios. We're here today to do thoughts, feelings, intentions, and actions of your love interest, a person with whom you are interacting currently. So let's take a look and get started here. Whoa, that was fast. The Justice card. Looking for balance. That is Libra energy. It is a thought process that you could potentially be a love partners that could make a commitment. Okay, like that. Libra energy is always good. It naturally rules the seventh house of marriage. Six of Pentacles. You both want equal give and take. This is your mutual energy. So let's see what else we have. Ooh, you both want a new beginning. You're both staying very calm, very cool, very collected. You're not getting ahead of yourselves. You're being a bit aloof with each other. <laughs> this is Aquarius energy, strong Aquarius energy. And Libra, so there's a lot of air here. Okay, so let's see what else we have. Ooh, Gemini energy, a grand shrine. Well, the two of you could probably talk to for, you could talk to each other for hours because someone, both of you really have a lot to say. You're both wanting to rush in to say it. It looks as though, oh good, look at this. This is great energy. Look at the nine of cups. Celebration, you might talk this very weekend time of celebration it looks like you really start to open up to each other the nine of cups is your wish comes true card it's one of the luckiest cards in the deck other than the wheel of fortune but this is something this is a wish is granted that's the fairy godfather fairy godmother of the tarot deck it is pisces energy so very emotionally happy the two of you are probably laughing a lot I would say, you know, even if you're apart on the holiday, you're probably having wine and Zooming or, you know, talking to each other at length on the internet. So beautiful energy. Eat, drink, be merry. How does this person think about you? When they think of you, they think of someone who's very hardworking, who's inquisitive, who's always improving their skills. They have a great respect for the fact that you are a perennial student. They love the fact that you're always interested in new things. You are their wish fulfillment, Scorpio. We have this beautiful Aquarius star card. They think that you're a star. Whatever you do for work, they feel as though you're at the top of your game. They feel as though you're a rock star. They feel as though you're quite beautiful and you are their wish fulfillment. They think that you are moving very slowly. They feel as though you're very stable, you're very steady, that you can't be rushed, that you're willing to take your time to get to know them. They feel the same way about you. They do feel as though you're holding back. They feel as though you're not sharing a lot of emotion. You're, you know, keeping to yourself a little bit, but they also feel as though you really like them but that you may have a little bit of a jealous streak or you might be a little territorial. You know, once in relationship, they definitely feel as though you would be, I wouldn't say possessive, but you know, what's yours is yours and what's, uh, you know, mine is mine. Um, but what's mine is mine is what Scorpio says. Ooh, the lover's card. They feel as though they think of you as a soulmate. They think of you as a soulmate. We have a lot of Gemini energy. We also, this is also Virgo, oh, that, excuse me, that is all Gemini energy. So you have a lot of air sign energy here. Whoever you are dealing with, Scorpio, this person, the two of you could just talk, talk, talk. The hanged man says it right now, they think that you're taking your time. They're not sure what to think about how you feel. They are trying to look at things from a different perspective. Anything that you've spoken of in terms of what you want and your goals, they are taking that into consideration. They are looking at things from your perspective, Scorpio. They feel as though you're willing to look at things from their perspective, but not you're not as open-minded, they don't think, because of this card. They don't think you're quite as open-minded as they are. Look at this, they're in their feelings about you. So we have thoughts, feelings, and then I do intentions. This person feels as though you could be the one. 
this is Capricorn, excuse me, this is Virgo energy again, a lot of Virgo energy here. So this person definitely feels that you could be the one to have a legacy marriage with. Gorgeous energy, right? What could be nicer than that? Two people who, you know, a stay-at-home dad, a career mom. The fact that you would shake things up, but they want a legacy relationship with you. That is how they feel in their heart space. They do feel very uptight about the fact that you have not shared your emotions. The Eight of Swords means they're really trying to hold back. They're trying to stay even keeled with you. Look at this. Here we go. There's the Cancerian card of honey. I want to come home now. Oh, your person is absolutely feeling super passionate. They want to, to them, you represent their happy place. Cancerian energy, Neptunian energy, very nurturing. Eight of Wands, they want to communicate a lot more freely with you. Um, they're waiting for a sign from you. But this person feels very passionately, um, very strong about the fact that you could be their person. Home is where the heart is. They're not telling you anything though. The Eight of Swords, they're holding back because they see you holding back. Ace of Cups, they're falling in love. This is new love or it's the beginning, a re-beginning or a reboot of an old love. Wow, beautiful heart space energy. Scorpio. Oh, <laughs> you must feel their sexual energy and tension because they do. They are like, you can hear this horse. Do you remember the, uh, the movie uh, Frankenstein and Flau Bu I think it's Frau Blucher. Every time somebody said her name, the horses would go, nee! because the stallions would rear up. They, they thought that, you know, the stallions were like, thinking that she was hot. It was very funny. But this person, when they feel, they think about you, they have a tendency to have a physical response. <laughs> they feel as though they'd like to make love to you all night long, Scorpio. Ooh, sexy cards. Oh, I love the feelings though. I love the fact that we started with this very grounded, beautiful, reliable energy of a legacy marriage. What is this person's intentions with you? They want to surprise you. Oh, they want to tell you that they love you. This person feels as though they can't break through. So they really intend on talking to you about what they want. So this person's going to put their heart on their sleeve. They're going to tell you what they want with you. That's their intention. They do feel as, it will, as though it will come as a surprise to you. And it will. This person is accustomed to holding back and being a little bit manipulative. So part of what they're doing does have some overtones of wanting to get the upper hand. Yep, here we go, the upper hand. What did I say? The upper hand, the one raised. This person really wants to take control of the situation. They definitely want to move it forward very rapidly. They want to influence you. Now I'm gonna look at this and see if this is true toxicity. The devil energy is Capricorn. It's sort of like, let's get the party started and they are going to tell you these things to, to try to quote unquote manipulate you into responding or, you know, they definitely are looking for an answer from you. They do not plan on going through this energy and really being vulnerable with you. If you hold back, they're going to feel very defeated right there. Five of Swords. So this could go either way. They feel as though this is going to go very well and they'll surprise you and that you will really open up to them or they feel it won't go very well and then they're going to feel really hurt by it. So interesting energy here. So let's see what we have for the energy. Let's look and see what a clarifier is with this Four of Pentacles. Why is this person holding back? Why is this person holding back? What do we have the Four of Pentacles here? 
Why are they holding back? Playing everything close to their chest. They're not sure what you want. They're not sure, you know, that you don't have other options. They don't want to embarrass themselves. They don't want to put themselves out there if you're just going to choose someone else. That is Pisces energy. Why is the hanged man here? Oh, look at this. The hanged man is here. Ten of Pentacles again. Look at this. They also are waiting to see how you feel. They really do want you to express your emotions. They do feel that making love is exquisite. It's a very, it's a very important part of your relationship. What is the tower card? Why is the tower card here? The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, something's going to happen. The Wheel of Fortune, the timing is right. That's how this feel, this person feels. And we have the Justice card. They want to absolutely know how you feel about marriage. They have a remorse and regret about the fact that they haven't acted more quickly. Why is the Five of Swords here? Oh, they don't want to carry any burdens. They just want to open up to you. They want to open up to you, but they're very intimidated by what that could mean. So let's see what their actions are for you. What are the actions that your person will take, Scorpio? I love this reading for you. It's really quite lovely. I don't see a lot to just, I don't see anything here that bothers me or makes me concerned for you. I feel as though this person, ooh, intuitively you know it, Scorpio. Cancerian energy again. This is a very nurturing person. They could have Cancer in their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Okay, so what else does, do we need to know about their actions? Ace of Air, they're going to really disclose a lot of information to you. They will be really forthcoming. They're going to tell you more than you want to know. And it is a way of trying to elicit some sort of response from you so that they're not mystified as to where you stand. Because a high priestess, you are being quiet. You are holding back. So the Eight of Fire again, the Eight of Fire. Look at is the Eight of Fire. We have it there also. It tells us that this person wants to talk a lot more. Four of Earth again. This person wants to know what your value systems are. But they think that you're holding back. They're holding back. And they're going to try to break through that energy because they want to tell you that they love you or that they're falling in love with you. All right, so let's see what we have here. Let's see what else we have for their actions. I like it. Ooh, the Fool card, really taking the leap of faith. The King of Fire, we have the Leo King. And the Ace of Earth, that is possibly, that is a substantial offer. So this person is going to, to follow this pattern that I've described, and then they are definitely going to make an offer to you that's quite substantial. It's going to be about, you know, hey, you know, let's see what we can do here. I really feel that you could be the one. I think we're on the same page. I think our values are the same. Uh, very, very beautiful energy. So what is spirit advising of you, for you, Scorpio? What is the advice from spirit for Scorpio in this connection? So let's see. We have a win-win outcome is forecast. Don't let your past hold you back. Beautiful. Your commitment is being tested or your desire or willingness to commit is being tested at this time, Scorpio. Let's see if we have some messages of love here. Integrity, beautiful. This person's very honest. Ooh, they have in the past been strictly sexual. I do feel as though they're worried about the fact that they may have tried to overly, be overly sexual with you prior to the time of realizing that they wanted to have a significant relationship with you. A little bit of time apart during the holidays will be good for you to get your perspective here. And we have... The timing is not quite right. 
so let's see what do we have here twin flame this is a divine counterpart so when the timing is right you did have the wheel of fortune in here uh when the timing is oh did you am i thinking about a different reading okay so the timing is going to get better i would say after the holidays time apart right now we're looking at the justice card and so that is you know that is a number eight in this deck so we see balance coming i would say that would be at least eight days you know before you really have a serious talk so scorpio that is a beautiful reading for you sending you love from chicago Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye, Scorpio.